Welcome back. In this business finance lecture, we'll go over study problem 8-10 in page 272 from the 8th edition of the textbook. Here is a view of the problem. Well, again, let's highlight some key ingredients of the problem. So we are told that the return on equity is 11.5% and the company retains 55% of its earnings. Now, why are we uh, given these facts? Uh, the, the, the primary reason is to figure the growth rate and sure enough, the first part of the problem is about that. So let's go ahead and make the simple calculation to figure the growth rate of the dividends for this common stock. Well, the formula, as you would recall, was that growth rate is simply equal to return on equity times uh, the retention rate so in this particular case the return on equity is 11.5 percent and multiplying it with the 55 percent of retention rate now we need to be very careful when we do this calculation recall how to uh, represent 11.5% as a decimal and in a similar way 55% can be represented as a decimal in this following fashion. As a result, multiplying these two numbers, we come across the figure of 0.0633 uh, or alternatively you can represent it as 6.33%. So either representation would be fine. Now going back to the problem, um, so we are also given that um, the, comp the, the common stock has recently paid a dividend of $3.25. Now we need to be really again extra cautious. The key word here is paid. This represents that D0 is actually $3.25, not D1. D0 paid means a past tense. Um, and therefore, this is the most recent dividend payment for this common stock. And as we move along, we just realize that the stock is currently also selling at $40. Now let's go back to the problem. Part B, the expected rate of return for this security. Well, we would just apply the formula. And recall that the expected rate of return of a common stock is simply equal to next year's dividend divided by the price, the market price, plus the growth rate. Now, as I said earlier, we are aware of the dividends for the previous year. So somehow we need to translate this into a um, figure for the following year. And this would be based on the growth rate that we just uh, uh, calculated. So to, we can rewrite this expression as d0 times 1 plus g and then the, the other uh, parameters will not change so that's a form an alternative form to write d1 eh? d0 times 1 plus g the rest of the problem is pretty simple now uh, it's all a matter of plugging in the values so in this case uh, d0 is three dollars and 25 uh, cents oops there you go uh, the growth rate was already calculated as 0 0.0633. The market price is given as $40. And we need to add uh, back the growth rate one more time. Now, the, this is pretty much algebra. So you execute the uh, parentheses first, this part. Then you make your multiplication. You do the division. And ultimately, you add these figures, these two terms. And you should find that the answer would be 14.96%. So that's the expected rate of return for this common stock. Now, the last part of the problem, uh, we are told that the required rate of return of the investor is 13%. And in that occasion, should the investor uh, buy this stock? Well, uh, because the expected rate of return of almost 15% exceeds the 
13% require rate of return, we can confidently say in part C that the decision is buy. Uh, because um, expected rate of return exceeds the required rate of return of the investor and that would um, complete our solution and we are done.